Hey groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out uh, Naughty, Naughty by Irene and Sergi. Irene and Sergi recently made their subunit debut with the amazing monster. Uh, you can go ahead and check out my reaction for that. Uh, it's on our channel. But a lot of people wanted us to check out Naughty as well. So here we are now. Before we get into this video, this video, as always, is brought to you by our Patreon. Guys, if you enjoy what we do on this channel, if you would like to continue to support us, uh, we don't make money doing this on our actual channel, but we get our support through Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash formatherapy, links in the description, for as little as $2 a month, you get early access to reactions like this, and for just a little bit more, you get access to live sh uh, live stage, variety show, drama reactions, and all sorts of good stuff, so... Tune in for that. However, supporting us monetarily is completely optional. If you don't want to or you can't, that's fine. Let's just check out this video. This is Nori by Irene and Sergi, and this is your form of therapy. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in a music video
Okay, so at the start of this video, maybe about a minute in, I was thinking, you know, as a video producer, uh, I check out the culture study, um, or at least I do the culture study to check out music videos coming out of the K-pop world. And I thought, well, there's not necessarily anything that fascinating or interesting about this video. I wonder why the folks wanted me to check it out. And then I understood. You know, I think this is actually a prime example of small labels don't really have an excuse to make uh, cheap videos. Um, I mean, well, ch having cheap videos look bad. First of all, they shot... Um, they shot outdoors and then this tunnel there's a, there's a chance that this tunnel that uh Sergi is walking down uh is actually a pre-set up tunnel there are actually uh several tunnels like this in korea where it's decorated with led lights so there's a chance that they could have actually just rented out a location um with that said you know primarily most of this video is shot on this white screen and for the most part i would say it's pretty tame until it gets to uh, pass the first chorus. And then first, then we get into these, they, then we get into these really close up shots that I find super interesting. Like the camera work is a little bit shaky. Like it's not completely smooth. Uh, I, I'm, I'm curious as to whether that was intentional or it, if, that, if they were just working with somebody who is not as, um, I guess, stable, but here's the thing. Most of this looks like it was shot with a stabilizer, so it would be hard. I, I, I'd be remiss to think that these weren't intentional, shaky, handheld looks. This is also fascinating, too. I'm very curious as to how they shot this. So, I mean, there is the method of they could have put a rig on Irene herself or they could have um, just shot in front of Sugi and then they shot Irene's hand portion separately and then um, inserted that in. But, but this scene is just really, really, really interesting. And even... The shots itself, they have interesting framing, like right here. This is, this is weird. Yeah, because this is more traditional framing. Traditional framing is around this. You cut off uh, a little above the head. This is a medium shot. But then if you go to here... There's a lot of headroom. There's a lot of headroom, and they're not centered either. Um, so it, it kind of gives off a little bit of an artistic, uh, very high fashion type of vibe, especially this portion of the video. I mean, think about that. All they shot that thing all entirely inside of a uh, white cyclorama, white studio. And everything else is just imported graphics, rather simple graphics. Yeah, they're very simple graphics, and it's just a matter of creativity. And I think SM on, I mean, this is, this might be, you know, besides like the self cam um, music videos, uh, like the self shot videos that they do occasionally, I think this might be the lowest budget SM music video I've seen. And even to call this a music video uh, would be sort of inaccurate. It's more of a performance video. But it's on the lower budget end, but I don't mean that in a bad way. Uh, I just mean that it's not the same as their title track videos or even their SM Station videos. But there's a lot of work put into this, a lot of hard creative work put into this. And it just goes to show sometimes you don't always need money to make your things look good. You know, sometimes all it takes is just uh, a very creative mind. And then the fade into the color, uh, that's a nice touch. You see, you start to see like the blue in Irene's dress. And the lighting change was a nice touch too. Look how, look how much stronger the contrast is. Look how much stronger and bolder the color is. Good lord. 
I love this like little ombre effect. So like, it's almost like a little bit more of a cinematic version of like a Studio Chung setup that they've got going on here. Um, so I like the video a lot. I think the video is very creative. I think on a budget, um, they were able to produce something that was very creative and visually interesting. I like the song a lot. The song feels a little bit, you know, here's the thing. The song feels a little Vogue inspired, um, definitely feels a little bit more Western pop. Um, but here's the weird thing. I feel like Monster and also Naughty feel like they could have been Red Velvet songs. And I think that just goes to show you how much of Red Velvet is defined by Sergi and Irene. Um, Monster, it felt like a little bit of an upgrade. It, it felt like they were doing something a little bit different. But Naughty, honestly, at the end of the day, Naughty sounds like a Red Velvet B-side. And if you are a Red Velvet fan, you know that that should be taken as a compliment because Red Velvet B-sides are incredible. And this sounds like something that could have been on the past few Red Velvet EPs that we've been listening to. So I'm a fan, but guys... That's just my reaction review of Irene and Sergi's Naughty. What did you think? Did you enjoy it? How does it compare to Monster? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, if you would like to support our channel, again, visit us at Patreon, patreon.com slash formatherapy. For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to videos like this. For just a little bit more, you get live stage drama, reality show reactions. If you're new, leave a comment, leave a like. You know, sit, hit subscribe and be notified when we upload a new video. And go ahead and check out all our other videos over here. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.